What's up, Wise Flyers? David here. So, which credit card issuer is the most generous when it comes to giving out credit limit increases? Well, you would think it's the bank with the most amount of money, like Chase or Amex, but that's not always the case. So, in this video, I'm going to go over specifically the major banks and how generous they are with dishing out credit limit increases. I'll tell you exactly how often to apply for a credit limit increase, whether or not they do a hard increase when you get a credit limit increase, as well as the process of whether or not you could do it online or over the phone. I recently published a video talking about the whole process of how to get the highest credit limit increase in the fastest amount of time. If you want to watch that video, there's a link down in the description below. Before we get started, I just want to say one of the reasons why you should be getting a credit limit increase is to increase your credit score so that you have a lot more opportunities in life for low interest loans or even getting travel credit cards, which is what this channel is all about. If you want to learn how to travel anywhere in the world almost free by using credit cards and travel points, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss a thing. Let's get started. We're just going to do this in alphabetical order. First is American Express. So when it comes to credit limit increases, sometimes they do a hard inquiry. And you have to wait 60 days after opening an account before you could request an increase in credit limit. And once you submit the request, you could either get a instant approval or they may say that they're going to send you a letter in seven to 10 business days and let you know their decision. If the latter is the case, most likely they're going to put a human uh, to manually review your account to see if you're eligible for a credit limit increase. And once you get a credit limit increase with American Express, you have to wait 180 days before you could request an additional credit limit increase. With American Express, the process is really Really simple you just go to account services and then click increase your credit limit and then you just put however much you want to increase your credit limit by. For Bank of America most of the time they do have a hard increase if you are requesting a credit limit increase but if your if your credit limit increase is below two thousand dollars then they do a soft inquiry. That's according to the research I've done. And if it's a soft inquiry, that means it won't affect your credit score, your, it won't show up on your credit report. So soft inquiries are ideal. But then again, a $2,000 or less credit limit increase may not be enough to move the needle too much for you. Before requesting a credit limit increase, you have to be a cardholder for at least six months. If you're eligible for a credit limit increase with Bank of America, you'll see a little link in your account to click request a credit limit increase. And otherwise you could go under information and services and then go to credit limit increase, which is under manage your account. And if you don't see the option for a credit limit increase in your account, then you'll have to call the number on the back of your card to speak to a representative to ask for the credit limit increase. With Barclays credit card, so Barclays has been known to review your account and see if whether or not you're using the credit card and they'll actually decrease your credit limit without you even asking for it. Sometimes they'll actually increase it too but you never want a decrease. So if you do have a Barclay card, make sure you're using the card so that they don't close the account on you or decrease your credit limit. With Barclay, you're allowed to submit a request to increase your credit limit four months from the time that you increased it before. And if by any chance you, de you decreased your credit limit or they decreased it for you, you'll have to wait six months from that point. And for Barclays, you're able to request a credit limit increase online. You just go to services and then you'll see under account services, it says request credit line increase. And if they don't approve of your credit limit increase, they're known to give you a counter offer. So if you ask for 5,000, they may say, we'll give you 3,000, which is much better than just getting a denial with no counter offer. Capital One allows you to ask for a credit limit increase at any time, but you have to have the account open, the credit card account open at least six months before asking for the first credit limit increase. The annoying part about Capital One is that they'll send you their decision in the mail and it takes up to 10 business days to receive the decision of increasing or not. And a lot of the lower end Capital One cards such as the Platinum or the Quicksilver one or the Journey Student, if you have any of those cards after your first five payments, Capital One has been known to automatically increase your credit limit without you asking for it. You would just go into your Capital One account and go to card services and go to request credit line increase. 
I would say Chase is pretty generous when it comes to giving credit limit increases. So Chase will often give you a big boost of credit limit up front, and then they may give you a little bit later on if you're gonna request later on. Unfortunately, Chase does do a hard pull when you request a credit limit increase. And you can't do it online. You're gonna to have to call the number on the back of your card and speak to a representative to request a credit limit increase. Now, the funny thing is with Chase, I've often decreased my credit limit because of a specific reason. So I like to apply for Chase credit cards and get approved. And if you have your credit limit low with Chase, then there's a better chance of you getting approved for uh, instantly approved for the credit card as opposed to being pending and then you have to call up and shift credit around it from your from your new card to your old card or vice versa. And with my experience of having seven Chase credit cards open at the moment, uh, biggest one I got was the Chase FI Reserve, gave me $32,000 credit limit from the start. With Citi, if you decide to request a credit limit increase, if it's approved, great, you get it. There's usually no hard pull there, but if it is denied or manually reviewed, like if it's pending and they said that they're gonna send you a letter, a decision in the mail, then most likely if it gets approved from that point, then you will get a hard inquiry there. And with City, you just go online, you go to services, and then you click credit card services, and then in there you'll see request credit line increase. Similar to City, Discover allows you to ask for a credit limit increase. If you're approved, great, there's no hard inquiry there. But if they have to manually review your account, then uh, that's when they do a hard inquiry and it, it'll show up on your credit report. And to do it online, you just go to manage and then you click credit line increase and that's where you would request a credit limit increase. Now, if you wanna know exactly how much to ask for, usually I would say it's around 10 to 25%, but it all depends on your individual situation. If you wanna learn exactly what to say to a representative if you're requesting a credit limit increase or exactly how much to ask for, you could click this video over here. It goes more into detail of the credit limit increase process or click this one down here and I'll see you in the next video.